Hello, and this is the 30 day SEO challenge that I spoke about in my previous video, and it starts with day one. So, this is day one of 30, and probably this is one of the most important steps in the 30 day process. So, what are we going to do today? Okay, so if you haven't done already, you need to decide on your niche. How can you decide on your niche? Well, uh, there's two factors. Factor number one, um, is it a niche that has a bunch of low competition keywords um, that's not saturated? Okay, the one that you can see yourself ranking high for um, because it's not too competitive. So that's that's one thing. But probably more importantly, um, the niche that you choose needs to be something that you feel that you can write about without it feeling like a burden. Okay, so something that you enjoy writing about, a topic that you enjoy. Uh, the best thing is if it's a hobby. I did a video previously about um, you know how to monetize your hobby and why doing that is so much easier than anything else because you know hobbies we love to write about don't we and um, we can without too much effort we don't have to do a bunch of research you know we've got it all there in our heads already and it's just easier it's just far easier okay so so choose wisely your niche that you want to go into okay um, the next thing you're going to do is check domain availability um, so what you want to do is when you're checking your domain availability is use a keyword domain okay like my name is Jamie Smale I don't want to choose jamiesmale.com because no one searches that name yeah it's not a known name it's not it doesn't mean anything right um, you know some people choose domains with like letters in them yeah totally unknown they mean something to you but they don't mean anything to anyone else and then it's not searched thing right so choose a domain that's an actually searched keyword because it gives you a head start right um, you know it just makes your life a bit easier okay now the next thing you're gonna do is keyword research okay so I'm gonna put in the description box down below um, how to do the you know how to do keyword research just in case there's some of you taking this challenge and you're maybe not sure how to do stuff okay some of you doing this challenge already have some prior knowledge as to how to do stuff um, okay so what you're going to do is choose around five or so category keywords better to choose too many keywords than too few all right and choose about 15 or so article keywords um, things like uh, questions and how to's or anything that you could, any keyword that you can make an article out of alright so think about your article title yeah okay so so do that um, now when you're doing your keyword research what you're looking for is you want search volume to be not too low but neither does it have to be tens of thousands of searches either um, okay, so I would aim for um, around about a thousand per month search volume per keyword, if you can. Uh, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if it was like, you know, 350 to 500, 600, but try and get a few higher searched uh, keywords. And um, also go for as many low competition keywords as you possibly can as well okay um, so get that all down on paper I personally use a system called Trello to keep all my data and refer back to it and keep myself organized um, but you know we've all got our own personal ways of being organized so uh, you do what's best for you okay so that's what we're going to do in day one of 30 um, so check the description box down below for the resources I've got a couple of videos that I've done previously how to do particular things so um, places you can use tools okay and um, I will be back with you on day two